time at all is really amazing, considering the, uh, the, the, the amount of change that one's consciousness has to go through. Uh, so Vedanta Sutra affirms that anyone can develop this transcendental consciousness within the same lifetime if they apply themselves fully. And this is what I tell everyone that I work with. Uh, unless you have some terrible crime that we don't know about, and don't want to know about, uh, <laughs> you uh, can develop love of Godhead in this lifetime if you simply follow the process. Uh, if you follow the process with pure intention. Do you have a question? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Hello. Uh, so we had um, we having uh, things uh, be happy in the society with every negative effects t today in the world. You better tell him in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Don't well, understand. That, uh, Can we think? Can we be peaceful as a person with all the events, the negative events that are happening? No. How is it possible? We can only no, be como peaceful. Es posible. We can only be peaceful if we find the peace within. Solo se puede encontrar la, esa paz adentro. And we can't do that artificially. Y eso no se puede hacer artificialmente. You know, by, by denial. Rechazando o negando. Oh, I'm not afraid. I'm not worried. No, no me da miedo. No, uh, no estoy no, preocupado. Every, everything in this world no. is calculated to make us afraid, to todo, make us worry. Todo lo que está en este mundo tiene el objetivo de asustarnos y de preocuparnos. The only place we can find peace is el único within in our lugar relationship with God. donde se puede encontrar paz es adentro, en nuestra relación con Dios. Even if we find a good situation in this material world, aun si encontramos una situación buena en este mundo, we still have to die. todavía tenemos que morir. So it's only temporary. Así que es solo temporal. Where is the peace in that? ¿Dónde está la paz en eso? So if I receive so much, so much bad energy from society, how can I give something to the society from the spiritual point of view? By preaching. Predicando. First, you have to become fixed up yourself. Pero primero te, te tienes que ajustar. When you become... Uh, Strong devotee. Cuando ya eres un devoto fuerte, you can help other people to become devotees. Entonces puedes ayudar a otros a, a ser devotos. Yeah. So first help yourself. Así que primero debes ayudarte a ti mismo. Then you can help others. Y después puedes ayudar a otros. You can't give somebody else something that you don't have. No puedes darle a alguien más algo que no tienes. There's many devotees in Chile that have no clue what is to study Krishna. And we know this because they haven't read or because they don't understand. So how, when they ask me, what do I answer? That Krishna is the perfect personality of God? It's only devotional service. Or simply cantar Hare Krishna. 
or simply chant Hare Krishna or, or everything or for devotees para devotos some oh well if you learn everything nicely yourself then you can answer any question si tú aprendes todo bien puedes responder cualquier pregunta you know? If you read Prabhupada's book, si lees los libros de Prabhupada and actually understand everything, y, y de hecho entiendes todo, you can easily answer anybody. fácilmente le puedes responder a cualquiera. Devoti, not devoto, devoti, no devoto. Christians, cristiano, atheist. ateo. One more question. Okay. How many deities, how many variety of deities are there oh to worship God, in ilimitado? <laughs> There's unlimited incarnations of the Lord. Hay encar encarnaciones ilimitadas del Señor. So which one Así do you like? ¿Cuál te gusta? <laughs> I like the one that helps Chile be more peaceful. Hmm. Lord Chaitanya. El Señor Chaitanya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if everyone takes up Lord Chaitanya's uh, method, si todo mundo sigue el método del Señor Chaitanya, automatically become peaceful. automáticamente se vuelven pacíficos. You feel more peaceful, don't Tú you? te sientes más pacífico, ¿no? So we'll do the same for everyone. Así lo mismo para todos. Okay, so where was we here? There's another mm. question here, I don't know. Oh, okay. Want to continue? Well, it, it, is it relevant to the subject? Mm, it's kind of general. Uh, let me, to get, it's from Ronald Singh. Babaji, to get any spiritual benefit, one has to eventually surrender to a bona fide master sooner or later to get the full mercy of Krishna? Well, of course. That's Krishna's system. He says in Bhagavad Gita, in the fourth chapter, that uh, just approach a bona fide spiritual master and render service unto him and make inquiries into the Vedic truths. Huh? The self-realized soul can give knowledge unto you because he has seen the truth. So how are you going to uh, be guided to complete self-realization unless you form a relationship, uh, a teaching and service relationship with someone who has seen that truth? Huh? How are you going to attain the ultimate truth unless you know how to go there and who can guide you except someone who's been there? Uh, I mean, this is very common sense. Uh, it's not rocket science, you know. But, 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 but. Yeah, you have to surrender. <laughs> That's Krishna's system. It's Krishna's, we're trying to approach Krishna. So if Krishna says you have to approach a spiritual master and surrender, then that's what you have to do to attain him. And if you say, well, no, I don't really need to do that. And Krishna can say, well, no, I don't really need to give you realization either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make the rules around here. You know, I just work here. <laughs> Is there more question? Okay. Question from Theo. What if you do not have access to such a guru, but you have started on the path under guidance from such a guru? Can what kind of a question is that? You have access. <laughs> we, we should keep our questions practical, not so much uh, theoretical. If, there's, if you know anybody who doesn't have access, then you just tell them, okay, go to the website and sign up. Okay.
From the example of Chandrakanti, as found in the Padma Purana, and from the examples of the gopis, as found in Srimad Bhagavatam, it appears that a devotee who always thinks of Krishna and who always chants his glories in ecstatic love, regardless of his condition, will attain the highest perfection of unalloyed devotional love due to Lord Krishna's extraordinary mercy. This is confirmed in Srimad Bhagavatam. If a person worships, adores, and loves Hari, the Supreme Lord, he should be understood to have finished all kinds of austerities, penances, and similar processes for self-realization. On the other hand, if after undergoing all types of austerities, penances, and mystic yoga practices, one does not develop such love for Hari, then all his performances are to be considered a useless waste of time.